Hello everyone, have a nifty little knife on the table for us today. So this knife that we're taking a look at comes from Serge Penchenko, and this is his slip joint razor. So as you can tell, it's a very unique take on the everyday carry utility knife that many of us are going to be familiar with. So what we see right here is a really unique style, and so if you're familiar with Serge's knives, definitely has the same colorations, the same stonewash look. He has a very unique style, I'll say. And so, of course, if you have a utility knife at home, chances are it's going to look something more like this right here, you know, your standard <laughs> hardware store utility knife. And they all do the same job, essentially. You have the replaceable blade and just some kind of a folding handle. And again, it's something you take with you, carry with you, and you don't think twice about using it. And so Serge kind of took that idea and uh, wanted to make something that's slightly higher end, you know, maybe maybe a nice conversation piece. Um, so if you don't carry something like this with you, that's totally expected. I know a pretty popular knife is this Gerber version of a utility blade. You know, so a small folding utility knife you can carry with you every day. And uh, you're not going to worry about gunking up, you know, your nice S35 VN steel, your M390 blade. You're not going to worry about using it for tough tasks. And so what we have, what Serge has made for us, is a really cool slip joint action. And as we can see, we have green G10 scales. And I like that they have his logo lasered in. And so he had these knives produced himself. So essentially, uh, they are made in China, uh, but he contracted them out himself. So when you're buying this knife, you're getting it straight from Serge. And uh, the profit is going to him. But taking a look at it, it has a pocket clip on one side. So this is going to be tip up right hand carry only. And you can see the side profile there. Pocket clip is titanium. So with that same really nice dark stone wash finish. We can see the blade holder right there. Really nice lasering Surge Knife Company. And this one looks appears to be number 89. And so I'm not sure how many were made in this run of green G10. And on the front hand side, you can see these Torx screws, and that is where you would open it up to switch out the blade. And I think he does have some videos either on his Instagram or on his website of how to do that. Um, but I'm really I'm just impressed with the, how lightweight the knife is. You know, definitely has that style. And if you're a fan of his work, I think it's going to jump right out at you. But super lightweight, slip joint action, so we can see no locking mechanism. Checking out the weight. Weight should come in 1.65 ounces. So yeah, featherweight knife. Um, overall length is about 6.6 .6 inches when open. So it is pretty small in hand. Easy to carry with you. I do like the ramp right here for your thumb. You know What, what would be nice is to get some jimping on there maybe. Because if you're going to actually use this in a heavy duty task, that'd be a good place to grip on but really, really special. And so I wanted to make a quick comparison actually as well, because we have right here the Boker Plus Lancer. And so this is a knife that was one of his designs, collaboration with Boker Plus. And again, you can see some of these style characteristics here. So both are the OD Green G10. You can see that dark stone wash finish applied to both knives equally. So definitely, you know, that same, the same design, the same look, you know, you can tell that they're both Surge knives. Um, and this one right here is in your S35 VN. But again, the things that you're going to use this steel for are not necessarily the same tasks that you're going to use for a utility blade. So something that you could easily pop out and replace. Um, this is going to get the bulk of your, you know, everyday carry tasks done. And you're not going to worry about it, you know. So really nice high quality piece here. And I'm pretty sure, I want to say, that they're going to do, or he is going to do, uh, more runs of this knife in different materials. Uh, maybe titanium handles, different colored G10 scales. Um, so even though each run may be limited in a sense, there are going to be additional chances to get this knife in your hands. So really cool. Um, really nothing to worry about. You know, it's a slip joint, nice tight action. And uh, what I've really gotten into lately is seeing these utility style blades, but essentially handmade custom versions of them. You know, one I was going to show off really quick is just a small custom right here. This is a fixed blade, of course, but as you can see, it, it uses the same kind of style. 
you know, attaching a utility blade to a really nice custom made handle. And it gives you something unique, but also something that can be used hard. And uh, this one, I just swapped out the blade, but the blade had seen a lot of use recently. And so this one, um, I'll, I'll leave a link to in the comments below to this one as well. This one comes from Banzel Croft Customs. Um, but I, I like that a lot of makers now are kind of going towards these um, utility razors or just razor blade knives. Because um, it, it goes to show that you can do a lot better than something like this if you want to carry a razor blade with you at all times. And it's something you're not going to be afraid to use. So kind of interested in, in showing this off with everyone. But just to show you how it comes in the mail, um, the box itself right here, very nice quality. Slip joint razor, OD G10. Packaging is really nice. So if you're going to get this for a gift or something, could totally do that. Magnetic opening. Reminds me a lot of a Boker box, to be honest with you. <laughs> but it does have the insert where the knife fits right in there. Down at the bottom, we have a little warranty information card, which I'm just going to leave right in there. But what's also nice about it as well is we get two tools, so two different Torx a bit, kind of like Allen wrenches there, um, but with Torx heads. And so that way we can have, I think probably it's a T6 and a T8, I would bet as well as extra screws, which is kind of nice. So I guess if you, you know, what I would do, my clumsy self, replacing these things, I'm more than likely to drop the screws on the floor and they're going to disappear. And so having an extra set with you um, can be a lifesaver because, again, if you've ever disassembled a knife, you know when you're working the Torx bit in there, the thing will fly off and shoot across the room. And if your room is anywhere near as messy as mine, um, you're on your hands and knees for a while searching for that lost screw that you can't reassemble the knife without. So here we solve that problem, get some extra screws that come with the knife. So, you know, really a little bit of thought went into that. And, you know, could he have saved a few pennies by not including these things? You know, he could have, sure. Um, but I feel very lucky that he did include them. So that's awesome. So good on him. So really nice presentation. Love the packaging. No issues there. So again, that's maybe not a big deal to you. Maybe you throw these out, um, but I love seeing these nice quality packaging that comes with knives, especially when you're buying something um, nice that you may want to gift in the future. So if you have any questions about this particular knife, feel free to leave a comment below. Um, very simple knife, not a whole lot to show off, but it's really, really well done. Love the small details on it. So definitely glad that he has his own production runs of these knives. Not worrying about Boker, not worrying about Spider Co. collaboration. Just get it straight from the source. Give the man your money. Give the man your support. Um, so again, if you have any questions about what you've seen in this video, anything on the table, feel free to leave a comment below. Thank you for watching my videos and have a nice day. Bye-bye.